Right now, I'm very excited. We have an uber special guest who is here with us, the newly crowned Miss Delaware 2022, Miss Grace Otley. Welcome, Grace. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much for so inviting me. So, I know it's not your first time at the TV studios, right? No, it's not. Oh my goodness. I heard you were here before as our, our weather girl. Yes, I was, but I've never been to this beautiful studio. I was only right. in the other Wilmington right. studio, so it's exciting to be it's here. It's nice, right? Well, welcome yes. back. Welcome back, Great. Right. Thank the you. New and improved. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, so I just want to hop right into it. Um, I know Cab from oh, Cab. Wow, I know Grace from high school. We actually went yeah. to Cab Calloway together. She's amazingly talented. You might find that out a little later. <laughs> but when we were in high school, you were actually Miss Delaware's outstanding team. Yes. I so was. now, what does it feel like to go from that to now being Miss Delaware? It's very exciting. So I was the Miss Delaware's Outstanding Teen um, in 2014, and I loved that reign. And I took a break about eight years, and I came back this year because I think one of the best parts about being Miss Delaware is that it is a job. Yes. So I was waiting until I really could, you know, give all my time to this year and the the initiatives that I want to spread across the state. So it's very exciting to be back, and everything has been very fast paced ever since the um, the crowning, but nonetheless very fun. Yes, no, you were just crowned just a few weeks ago. Yes, right? just on June seventeenth. June seventeenth. Yes. So literally like two Not weeks. Not quite a whole month ago. yet, right? Not yeah. Even yeah. A month. So yeah. we're excited to have you here. Um, yeah. You just said Miss Delaware, it's a job, and a lot of people don't know that. They think, oh, you just wear a pretty sash and crown. Brown, that's it, you just wave at some people and that's it. But tell us about the job of Miss Delaware. Right, so we each have our own social impact initiative mm -hmm. and that's basically a cause or program that you might want to support throughout the year and take time to help impact the community through that. So that's definitely part of the job. Another part is we go into any community that might request us to you know, help in any way. So I've been to, I've been downstate already for Princess Tea Parties, Aww. for the um, American Heart Association's Red Gala. And it's really a job because it takes a lot of your time to be able to travel up and down the state and do all the different appearances. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Grace, can you tell me, you know, as someone who's not super familiar with the, with, with the industry, um, what is it like preparing for and then actually competing in it? So I would say that, and I think Kaylin can uh, agree because we both are passion sisters, yes. is that the preparation is is not something that you can do overnight. Mm -hmm. It's a journey that you learn. So the second that you enter the organization, you learn things like public speaking, you start honing in on your talent, you start working on community service. So. Um, you know, preparing overnight will never work because it's one of those things where it's really becoming the young woman who's well-rounded and ready to serve sure. in the title holders, or, you know, as a title holder. So um, the specific parts of the program, though, since um, you wanted to know more about it, yeah. we have talent and we have a private interview, which is 10 minutes. And Kaylin knows it's very, very yes. intensive. They really want to make sure title holders are up to date with current events, um, make sure that they are well-spoken. And so they also find that through on stage, uh, we have a portion called Social Impact Initiative, where not only do we talk about what ours is, but we get a chance to answer whatever question it might be from a fishbowl, or it could be impact related, it changes based on every program. Can we ask what your question was? You can. So we weren't sure if we were going to get political questions mm -hmm. or based on our impact. You never but know. You, d you never know. And we did end up getting more current event related questions. Sure. Mine was about social media. Um, I don't remember how it was worded exactly, but it was, do you think that we should place laws on, on protecting students and mm -hmm. children from social media? How do you feel about that? So I said, I don't think we should. I don't even know how we would could do that. I said it really starts in the home with parents um, teaching their stu teaching their children about the dangers of social media. And I know that one of the things that I have studied with my social impact initiative is that one of the biggest dangers facing children these days is social media because not only can you um, encounter harassment or stalking or any of the actual dangers, but a lot of the youth are using social media to compare themselves to other people yeah, and yeah. that's hurting their self-confidence that's hurting the person that they are really meant to become right so yeah. you just talked about your social impact in this initiative or platform as it used to be called so what is yours 
So mine is teaching others to love themselves through music, and it is implementing music programs in Delaware schools, and then it's also fundraising for schools that currently don't have any instruments. Wow, that. that's amazing. Yeah. And so in, in your opinion, like, why is pageantry so important? I think it's important because, and this is something that is not very well known with mm -hmm. the term pageant, it's really just a program that allows you young women to gain scholarships. So just on June 17th, I gained almost around $15,000. Um, and that's including locals too. So it's a really great opportunity to get your college paid for. Yes. And we always advocate for higher education. So that's one big plus of the Miss America organization. Um, another thing is that it really does help you become a well-rounded young woman. And that's not, uh, that's not just useful in winning a title, but that's useful for getting a job. That's useful for meeting anybody and doing sure. any sort of thing in life. So you become well-rounded, you become humbled by the experiences of community service. And um, if you already have a talent coming in, it helps you prepare and helps you hone in on that. If you don't, it helps you become the person, uh, or you know, it helps you find that talent that you want to then pursue. You know, well, I'm just so happy for you. We're so elated. And I know it's even more exciting because you are going to be representing our great state at the Miss America pageant. How does that so feel? Exciting. It is really surreal. I've been watching Miss America ever since I was a little girl when they had it in Atlantic City. Yeah. And now that it's changed to Miss America 2.0 in Connecticut. So I'm very excited. Nice. I have started preparing a little bit, you know, with, with wardrobe or with talent, switching it up. So do you know when it is? Have they released the date well, yet? Well, they have not released the date oh, yet. Oh, sure. sure. You guys okay. are just like... A little suspense there. Awaiting. <laughs> yes. But we do know it's in December, so... Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, December. quick last question. What legacy would you like to leave behind it's as just thinking that way. <laughs> yeah. I love this question because every single person's is different. Personally, I'm the first Miss Delaware to have the specifics... Um, social impact initiative that I do of bringing music programs into schools and fundraising. Another legacy that I think is really important is that I bring representation. Yes. So growing up, I know that it's very difficult to find women of color in media, yeah. in programs like pageants. So I think that's really important for young women to see that people who look like them are being chosen and they can do great things. Um, and also like it's adoption rep representation. So I was an adopted from Vietnam. Another part of the legacy is bringing sponsorship. This is a great state with great opportunities and we just have to find that for the organization. So those are just a few things that I would love to leave behind. I love that. That's absolutely amazing i can't wait to see look you're only in your early 20s and i can't wait to see what you do in the next 20 years you know it's definitely gonna just your career will in life will definitely explode for sure most definitely so as we stated before grace is like super talented so we actually have the pleasure of seeing you perform so yes excited. so what was your talent that you performed I did a looping performance with piano, electric violin, and singing. Ooh, yes. I said I'm multi. I can't do one <laughs> multi talented. I brought not all just one. three, except for to, well, for Miss America and for today, I will only be doing electric violin and singing. Welcome back to Good Morning Wilmington. Well, we promised you that Grace Outley will be back, and she is here. Not only is she Miss Delaware, but she is also a talented musician. Here now, performing a song from us from Ed Sheeran is Grace Outley. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from my cheeks? And darling, I will be loving you till we're 17 Baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. People fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe just the touch of a And I just want to tell you I am Honey, now Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars 
When my hands are a mess and my memory fades And the crowds don't remember my name When my voice doesn't have the tone the same way I know you will still love me the same Cause honey, your soul could never grow Oh, it's evergreen And baby, your smile's forever in my mind and memory I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways And maybe it's all part of a plan Well, I just keep on making the same mistakes Hoping that you'll understand Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Oh, darling, place your hands on my beating heart I'm thinking out loud That maybe we found love right where Baby, now take me into your loving arms. Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. Oh, darling, place your hand on my beating heart. I'm thinking out loud, maybe we. Maybe we found love right where we are. Maybe we found love right where we are. What's up, everyone? It's your main man, Big Ob, the talk of the town, Mr. DETVCH.com, and I'm here with my wonderful and amazing co-host, Vincenza. We just stopped by to tell you to be sure, if you want any information on what's going on in Wilmington and to meet some dynamic people doing some amazing and great things, be sure to watch us live on Good Morning Wilmington on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Oh, Ivan, 10 a.m. Wish you said 10 a.m. Listen to me. That's why he has me here. But yes, <laughs> tune in live 10 a.m. Monday and Wednesday on Good Morning Wilmington. DETVCH.com.